Fish heads, welcome back to the show. Jen Crevasi and Jekyll Bates, and this is your Saturday showcase. Today is August 22nd, 2020. It's a Saturday for me. Might not be when you watch this, but welcome, welcome. It's good to see your smiling faces. I appreciate the view. I promised you guys on the last video that I was going to show you these ugly bugs from Bo Merkel finished and ready to go out the door. They're flying to the great Northwest United States this morning. So as soon as I'm finished shooting this video, we got to get these packed up for Kevin Wilson. And they are from the original creative mind of Bo Merkel. These are the ugly bugs and these are them finished. Now I did get a question online. We're going to jump right into the question answer session of this video. How can I upgrade these hooks? Now I did not get hooks with this assembly didn't come with hooks or split rings so it was up to me and the hooks that i chose were short shank number one which i prefer one of the things that drives me really crazy 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 about some of the baits out there and just not picking on strike king but this is a strike king 2.5 kbd and you can see it it just happened right there it wasn't even intentional i had it hanging but this is one of the biggest problems that you guys run into is when you throw that when you cast this out it hangs up and sometimes it even hangs up in the split ring or in the line tie so one of the things that a lot of tournament anglers and a lot of anglers overall have gone to using is that short shank and that's going to do a couple of things for you if number one you want a better hookup ratio you can even with a short shank add an additional split ring on yes you sure can add an additional split ring onto this which is even going to increase how free swinging these hooks are so that's one thing that you can do. Number two, if you have short shanks, you're not going to run into this problem of this forward belly hook getting hung anywhere around the lip of these baits. Now, not so much are you going to have the problem with a popper, per se. You could still probably get it hung up in the line tie on the front. But this is the finished bait. These are short shank 3X VMC Super Stickies, the Black Nickel, the 9651s, they are tough, as are the split rings that are with them. And somebody was asking if you can't, yes, yeah, sure, you can upgrade. So real easy to do off the back of this. You just uh, get split ring pliers and, and remove the hook from the split ring. On the front, though, I would strongly recommend, so that you don't put additional wear and tear on this belly assembly here, to go ahead and unscrew. If you're going to upgrade now yeah you can you can i've got split rings on the front as well you sure can you can do that um, but what i would recommend is that you get that flathead screwdriver and what i used for it was just this is a craftsman set that i got a long time ago um, this is a flathead screw that comes with these things and i would take this screw off about halfway leave it set into the to the thread and the hole and then remove the screw completely which will free swing this assembly and then you can just take the whole thing out and then go ahead and pull the ring from the split rings that's just my two cents that's how i would do it sure you can now these are these are not cheaply made what he's the hardware that he did put with these are pretty good but uh, if you don't want to risk bending this assembly i would just go ahead and pull the screw off completely halfway on this swing it out and pull that split ring off but this is how it turned out this is that tomato hornworm and one of the things that I did with this is that I wanted to match the eye which on a real tomato hornworm caterpillar there's not really a prevalent eye but it does have these little white and red dots all down the sides of the bait or of the caterpillar in real life and then the notched white V's on top so I wanted to just run these big cool eyes, the 9mm eyes, to match the eyes on the side. And then we've got these. These are super glued in. So this was a lot of fun. I've seen versions of this ugly bug because the uh, they come about this long. If I can get that in frame for you guys. These come much longer. Um, but what I did to eliminate short strikes is I just kind of trimmed that up just a little bit so that if the, if the hook comes out, 
it's you're not going to have the bass biting at a longer strand of of this uh, rubber band fringe so that was my solution that's how i did the bait um, hopefully that will help somebody else if you guys are making these things um, with bow if if you have a set of these and you're and you're putting them together it's just my take on it it's not the only way to do it but these are the baits that i came up with for kevin up in northwestern united states this is the woolly bear and then again i blackened out the eye because woolly bears don't really have eyes either and then added just a little tiny white dot pupil on that and then the skink these are really cool patterns this is that um, lizard scale you can get that from Brian, Brian Best over at uh, Anarchy UK model stencils very cool little stencil right there so that is them folks you guys asked for them and I wanted to do you the service of showing them to you all put together let's get into the rest of it this is going out to uh, Mr. Rich a citrus gill a little bit of metallic paint on the top and your scales real pretty citrus gill there a lighter northern gill love the colors in this love the way this turned out and i'm excited about sending this out to him in the fall because usually in the summer the bass are up shallow they get a lot more tannins on their scales and, and their skin under their scales so they get a little bit darker but as we head into the fall and winter months these bait fish and the bass and everything else once that thermocline hits they're going to fall a little bit deeper in the water as is the color of their skin so things are going to get a little bit a uh, little bit lighter for them but this is that northern gill and i really really like the way this turned out and you can still see that foiling reflectivity underneath of it the camera's picking up that at all just super cool love the way that came out as well you guys are probably wondering what happened with this so this is the finished version of the latest baby bowl that i have painted up this is in that ultimate gill pattern this is wildly becoming popular you guys are all asking for this pattern um, i am selectively putting it on a few baits here and there but it is going to be reserved for some stuff coming out this fall and if you guys can see what's happening with that there it is that iridescent color shifting paint in that purple and the camera is really doing justice to how the light reflects off of these they're phenomenal german paints that i'm using on this and just to give you an example of they're not cheap schmakey puts out the aerovision metallics and the aerovision iridescence which you cannot get in the states and they're about 41 dollars for 28 milliliters which is uh, right around an ounce of paint so it's kind of like the same quality that you would probably a little better than you would get from the dupont paints here in the states but just love the way that purple translate onto this bait and that's all hand detailing on that 3.75 inch slow sinking triton mike buca baby bullgill really really excited about these so and you can find them a couple of different places first and foremost i would recommend grabbing them from the collaboration efforts between mike buca and catch company so they are available at carl's bait and tackle so look for them online if you sign up today you can get a 30 percent discount there is a coupon below in the description so go get you mystery tackle box and carl's bait you can get 30 percent off a month from the stuff that carl features through catch company and this is one of those go pick them up today folks why wouldn't you best pricing you're going to get anywhere in the world right there catch company this is a lannister pop 
And the Game of Thrones series is long gone, but uh, according to George R. R. Martin, he's going to finish the books. I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, he's blown through so many deadlines, but I still get lots of requests for these, uh, the, the, the Got series. And this is going out to Dennis Comfort. And in the, uh, in the tradition of Lannister, Tyrion Lannister had a quote throughout the show that said, I drink and I know things. For you, Dennis, I fish and I know things. So there is your Lannister popper, a little line on the side of it. And just some really cool coloring. Lots of layering in these. And those bright red glow in the dark fluorescent eyes. I have always had problems, and I don't know why, but it's been like the hardest. And it's not that hard of a pattern. It's not that difficult. The hardest time making a small mouth pattern look good. This is my Oneida small mouth pattern on a lipless. I have taken it off of the lipless patterns on my website at www.jekyllbaits.com only because I was never happy with it, but I think I'm finally there. So this is part of the other order that's going out for Mr. Rich. And uh, love, look at that. This is that foiling. It's a great bait. It's a good pattern. Solid, solid small mouth. This is probably my favorite small mouth. And it's not the cookie cutter like, so there's so many hard stencils out there that are all alike. Everybody's doing the same thing. I, I challenge all of you fish heads that are artists and painters out there that are painting their own baits to be different. Do it differently. So this is my take. I love the colors. Love the blending that came out on this. And um, I might be willing to do a spray session on this particular pattern. If you guys are interested and you like this particular pattern of smallmouth, let me know in the comments below and I will throw together a step-by-step. -step. Now I've been doing a little bit more just because I haven't had the time to sit and edit out four and five hours of teaching you guys step by step, but I promise we'll get more into that once I free up a little bit of time, because right now, and, and it's been this way for months, I'm usually between 100 and 250 baits out at a time for orders. So that's why we're running three, four weeks turnaround time. It, it is what it is, folks. And I do everything here by hand sprayed to order as fast as I can, as fast as humanly possible. There's a lot of stuff that's coming up in the fall for me that I also need to get ready for. So believe me when I tell you six days a week, 14 hour days is what we're doing here at Jekyll Bates for you guys. Mr. Stitches is back. He was also ordered. And one of my favorite fun, almost Halloween type patterns to do. I've done mummies, I've done zombies, I've done, you know, blood and guts coming out of the baits. I've, I've really tricked them out. This is one of the cooler, it's, it's still tricky and there's still a lot of layers, but it's a little simpler to get through. Um, there are actual gauze wraps that go into this. And then you can see right here, quite a bit of layering. I've even put the stitch work in as if Mr. Stitches has just come out of the hospital. Poor guy, gets a lot of road rash. But this is Mr. Stitches. Almost done. You guys have seen the snot out of these. This is the uh, Calico Crappie on that Papa. Big Baits, also number threes. Beefier short shank hooks, which I like. And really good profile bait, does mimic the crappie. Those red eyes, synonymous with anything from Spro. And a red-eared. This is the red-eared Sunny with those red eyes. Super clean. Yep, it's KBS, folks. This is that new formula. Now, I, I didn't have any problems with the older formula. The new one I like even better. Gets rock hard and it clears and hardens from the inside out versus the other way where air was the catalyst that hardened the clear coat. So it is a really, really solid, beautiful, doesn't yellow, doesn't get cloudy. You just have to take care of it. Uh, and if you treat it with kid gloves, it's gonna be good to you. 
So there's that Red Eared Sunny. Last but certainly not least today, folks, and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for the entire video, is the Bull Shoals Pumpkin Seed. I did not purposely, this is an old school pattern and it was ordered directly off the website um, under square bills. It is in the process of being renovated. I'm kind of revamping quite a few patterns for the 2021 season. And you can see that little hint of gold against blue, which I love, love that color combination and the fades between the darker blues and the lighter blues and then back to that metallic, lots of metallic glitter in the cheeks and that is in the paint itself. And then hand cut, rough cut stencils for those ear flaps and a very thin artist detail brush that I've even trimmed down more to give those little white lines on the ear flaps. And that, that folks, is all the news that's fit to print. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Love seeing your smiling faces. I will see you guys on the next one. Going to be a spray session. The big one is finally going to air on Monday morning. I'm going to take Sunday off from videos, but I am going to be in the shop. So I will answer questions if you guys have them on my social media platforms. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. Cheers. And happy casting from Jekyll Bates.